This is the 27th episode of Becoming a Millionaire Metal Detecting. And I'm kind of proud that my attention span has lasted this long on a project. Wise people have said that there's no way to get rich quick. And getting rich quick, metal detecting. Eh. But the good news is, at the end of this episode, we will have 27 months of data. And that data says that we are getting closer. For anyone new to this show, welcome. My name is Merrill Kazanjian. And what we are trying to do is monetize my favorite hobby so that I can do it more in the future. I've done the math, and if you take $2,000 per year over 40 years with 10% interest per year, you get very close to a million dollars. The good news is we are blowing that math away. Um, but like with inflation, won't like a million dollars be like not as much? You be quiet. It's actually a good point about inflation 40 years down the road. But again, we're looking at this show and what I'm trying to do as serendipity. Whatever becomes of it, becomes of it. We're certainly going to try our best to monetize, to get there. I want to metal detect. I want to travel. I want a lot of things. You know, I'm enjoying living. But worst comes to worst, this doesn't work. We get a lot of metal detecting done. So how do we monetize? The most obvious when it comes to metal detecting is the coins that we pull from the ground. That's one way. Occasionally we go scrapping, but we don't like getting ripped off. Yeah. Monetization strategy number three, which has become the primary means for raising capital for this project, is YouTube channel revenue. Now that we're going on our third year of data, every year, looking back, we have blown away the month, 12 months ago, whatever the month is, if you look back 12 months, we have never, not even once, had a lower month. The other two ways that we monetize are through merchandise sold on my website and affiliate revenue. When I say affiliate, what I mean is that uh, I have links to the products that I use whenever I make a video, and if somebody clicks on them and winds up buying a product, uh, I get a kickback to that. But if you look at last year's data, the dominant way that we have been able to increase revenue with this endeavor is through channel revenue. And each month I upload more videos and my audience gets a little bit bigger. If you think about it, videos are a little bit like a dividend paying stock. Or maybe I should say they can be. In other words, every month I'm going to have a higher number of videos. Because even if I make one video, that makes my total higher than the last month. People can watch these videos over time, although it's a lot easier to get views when you premiere new content. Well, Merrill, what do you do for a living right now? Former teacher... But now I'd have to say closest match for a profession is as a data scientist within a school. But that knowledge of data is something that can be used really in any frontier. So I took a big gamble this month. I took a deep dive into my channel's data. Why would I do that? I need all of my videos to be firing on all cylinders. I looked last month and 311 of my videos got less than 100 views per month. I'm fully committed to having this channel and all of the effort that I'm making succeed. And one way that we can ensure that is to make sure that my videos get viewed. So I needed to redo a lot of the tags on the videos that were not getting views, occasionally switch up the thumbnails. Let me show you what I mean. 
This is my channel's data footprint over time. How did I get this? I downloaded data month by month by month. I showed you how to do that in last month's episode of Becoming a Millionaire Metal Detecting. I will link to it. If you hit the I button, you can learn how to do this too, if you're a content creator. But anyway, this is the macro scale view of my channel. And for instance, comments added, you can see total comments uh, that were added either in a live stream or in a premiere. You could see the total amount of likes, dislikes, the net subscribers. So this is the macro big picture data and it goes deeper than that. Why is this important? Because you don't want to just think that your channel is growing. You want to quantify the growth. But this is meant to help me. And look at this. New videos per month. So I, my peak, I was a madman in December. 36 videos I uploaded last December. January, it was 30. March, it was only 22. And that's by design because I'm working on the data behind the scenes right now. In other words, I'm cleaning up the mess right now. I'm looking for what the weak links are, and I'm trying to see if there is a way that I can strengthen them. If you want to see some OCD joy, look at this. This is all of the videos on my channel right here. And by month, this is the view count. So for instance, this first episode of Becoming a Millionaire Metal Detecting, its first month it got 92, then 64, 17, 7. And it's been somewhat steady, but in the most recent month, it has only gotten three views. Is there a way that I can improve it? Way number one. If you notice the CC down here, closed captions. I've taken the time in my videos to go in and edit and click on subtitles. And YouTube comes up with a their own captions for the videos. You have to click on this. And then you could go in and you can verify what they have. So basically, I go, I read it, and I make the adjustments, and it takes a good amount of time. But this is all metadata. This is all data that search engines know about and uh, can help you get found in search. So this is really, really important that you do this. And then you would press publish. This one I'm not done with, so I, I have to go back and fix. But then what you can do is you could translate it into other languages. And after I do that, I take the different languages and I don't do it for every language. I make my videos accessible in other languages. So you could turn on the uh, captions and yeah, if you're watching in uh, Spain, for instance, Spanish is one of the languages that I create captions from, from that original transcript that you just saw. I've started with the videos that don't have momentum right now, adding this little extra effort to jumpstart them once again. Other things that I have been doing is adding end screens to every single video and cards so people have the option to see my playlists and also when the video ends they could go to another one of my videos. Something else that I've been doing is adding chapters. You can see right here you can skip to the next chapter and you have chapters right up in here that you could scroll through or you could go down here to the video description and there are timestamps to each one of the chapters. So for instance, if you want to see me pull a deep buckle, boom, there's the deep buckle. And you could go and zoom around the video. Finally, a coin. There you go. And again, I'm trying to be data driven. Take a look at this last column here, uh, or next to last column. This was March, uh, I think it goes from the 1st to the 29th, so it's not complete. But you could see there's only a handful of videos 
that really get triple digits. And that's a problem. When they premiere, for instance, here's a premiere. They're popular. They get a good amount of views thanks to uh, you guys who are watching right now. But eventually they get uh, just a handful of videos. And what we're trying to do is up that number because in time that will lead to subscribers, I hope, and that will lead to more viewing of my videos. But anywho, cheers. It is Coinstar time. Let's see what we got with Clad. <laughs> So thirty one seventeen is the amount of uh, clad that we got this year. I, I don't deposit uh, any historic or uh, valuable coin. It's just regular clad. 3117 and I see we're behind the pace last year for coin revenue, even though last year was a wash with COVID. Two years ago, eh, we're probably very close uh, to that. So merch store revenue, we got $32 from that. And to get to the merch store, if you don't know, all you have to do, go to any of my videos, and there should be a link, merch store, you click on it, and this is what we have this month, <laughs> including the new Adele shirt. I beat you again, Meryl. <laughs> so, Jeremy is awesome. He has been, what does this say? This is what a nit, oh my god, what? Oh, my Lord. I approve this message, by the way. But he's been adding new stuff all the time and uh, cycling old shirts out. So uh, we, we have uh, <laughs> quite a bit of uh, stuff here. And, of course, the ones that continue to sell remain there, too. So thank you, Jeremy. If you're wondering who Jeremy is, he's the gentleman who uh, manages the this section of my website and has come up with amazing designs. So... Uh, anywho, this section was not really even activated last year. I got zero from it. I, I didn't even have a website at this time last year. So $32 comes from that. We're up to 63 for the month. Uh, and we did no... Oh, I put it in the wrong section. Jeez, Meryl. And we did no scrapping. I have so much scrap, too. We had an excellent month with affiliate marketing. We broke uh, $200 again. And we also are Amazon affiliates. And Amazon, we got a whopping $4.55 on 175 clicks. Eww. We might have to rethink that. Brings our total for affiliate revenue to $205.72. That brings us up to $268.89. Going into our biggest category, channel revenue. Now, this is actually really interesting to me. My views are down even from February, a 28-day month, and March, it's down to 118. But I made more than I did in February, and I got less subscribers, less views. But the earnings are actually up 
compared to last month. And uh, at my peak, I was getting 180,000 views. Th these were the months that I was doing 30 plus videos. So if we up that number, you know, it, it goes right back up to what it was there. But it, it, I'm getting more for less. And that is good news. It could be that advertisers are starting to notice my channel. And when there's a bidding war, uh, prices go up. So that's my hope. But uh, what I'm seeing is less views, but more revenue. So that's that's a good thing, I guess. It also could mean that the tweaks that I'm making to the metadata to my channel are making it more transparent and uh, accessible to advertisers. That's what my hope is. All right, so we are going to add 989, 91, and our total for the month, $1,258.80 compared to just $54 last year. And our yearly total is up to $3,583.71. If you look at it this way, we have three months done in the year, so that's one fourth of the year. But if you compare the final totals from last year, we are more than a third of the way to the final total from 2020. Now, our nest egg got beaten up a little bit in this past month, but that's okay because it had uh, exponential growth uh, really due to one really winning stock position. As you can see, the one-year rate of return is absurd and not sustainable. So, uh, we have to do our best to continue to win, but um, there's losses along the way. And I'll tell you this, I have not, uh, the plan is all of this, all of the money that I make metal detecting goes into the stock market. And these are the stocks. This is the nest egg. I have not made one deposit in the year 2021. Uh, you might remember that I bought a place in Florida as an investment, uh, and that's outside of metal detecting, but, um, you know, I, we've needed to, uh, you know, for instance, fix the air conditioning system and, you know, there's expenses to that. So all of the amount, it will get reinvested uh, in this. I just haven't had a chance to do this between paying taxes and all that fun stuff, but it will eventually be in there. So I have another $3,500 that's due to go into this account when I can. Anyway, this is a long-term project. And how cool would it be if we turn the coins in the ground, the videos that I make into something that's permanent, something like real estate, you know, that that's what that's where I want to go with this. And the success happens one coin at a time, one video at a time. And we want to give ourselves the best chances to win as possible. So a lot of energy and effort go into this channel in general. If you are so inspired to, I will ask you tonight, please share this channel, uh, recommend this channel, and uh, it, it would help me out a lot. So anyway, as always, I thank you. And the next update in this series is going to be May 1st. Yeah, it's April now. Oh, my God. May 1st. All right. Thank you.